Goal for today, don't make a comment about the lighting. Go. Hello there, internet. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, then you are sure to have seen a couple pictures which are captioned Canada practice. Here's why. I have recently become infatuated with the idea of living in Canada. And before you get there, no, it is not because of president-elect Donald Trump. This actually started happening before the election. And now I'm gonna tell you why. I was sitting with John one night and I was watching YouTube videos like I do because I am a YouTube human. This video just so happened to be Elena Fenders talking about how she and Dallas were moving to Vancouver. So I turned to John and jokingly said, hey babe, just so you know, we're either living in Minneapolis or Vancouver. That was that. About a week later, John and I were on a walk talking about like things we would want in an apartment, kind of. He just really wanted a dog and I was like, listen, no. And I said something along the lines of, you know, like, my perfect place isn't gonna allow dogs. So then he asked me to describe the perfect place that I would wish to live. So I said there will be a pride flag on every street, a vegan restaurant on every corner, and a Whole Foods just down the road. He asked if this place existed and then I said, I don't know, but I will find it. After a quick five minute Google search, I found that this perfect place does exist. And it's called Vancouver. Vancouver has its own village called Davy Village, which is also known as the Gaberhood, where they have rainbow crosswalks. There is so many different types of cuisine, including vegan restaurants. And of course, it is a huge city, so there are Whole Foods just down the road. What? I literally started crying. I mean, small little tears, not like, because this was awesome. This was an awesome thing to find. And now I've been looking more into things in Canada. I've been looking in how to like, you know, live there and stuff. I was looking at apartments. It started as like a funny joke. Ha ha, you gonna move to Canada for me? And then it turned into like a, hey, I think I kind of want to live in Vancouver. And now John and I are planning a spring break trip to Vancouver. What? What? And because of this spring break trip, that's why those pictures are called Canada Practice, because we are practicing for Canada. You got the bridge because it's practice for the Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge, and then you got the Tim Hortons because it's basically the Dunkin' Donuts of Canada, and we all know how much I love Dunkin' Donuts. So there you have it. That is how the idea of living in Vancouver, BC, Canada actually came to be kind of like a real thing in my brain. If you live near Vancouver, have visited Vancouver, live in Canada, or have visited Canada, or know really anything, anything really. Just tell me. I want to learn. I want to know. I want to just... I want to hear all your stories. Please. Other than that, that's all I got for you today. Remember to like and comment and subscribe because I haven't said that in a while, so might as well do it now, question mark. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. See these pretty lights? Yay! You can't see the pretty lights in that corner though. I'll show ya! Pretty lights!